Hey guys, welcome to the Bunsen Burner Lab. This is Last Chance Bunsen Burner School. Here's your Bunsen Burner. Let me show you its features. This spindle valve on the bottom is for fine tuning your gas flow. So righty tighty, lefty loosey. Turns the gas off, turns the gas on and higher and higher and more gas and more gas. Less gas, less gas, less gas. What's weird is that it's upside down. So it's really lefty tighty, righty loosey, lefty more gas, righty more, less gas. Practice and play with that a little bit so you get a hang of it. That's what the point of the lab is today. That is your airport. The airport is really a carburetor. And the carburetor's purpose is to mix air with the gas that comes out of this, which is your bench top gas valve. The bench top gas valve turns on all the way if the stopcock is parallel to the valve. All right. So if it's all the way over here, perpendicular, then it's off. Parallel is on, perpendicular is off. Make sure this is either all the way off or all the way on. All of your fine tuning happens here with the spindle valve. This is your striker. You're going to twist it and it will push a flint into the striker plate. Let's light the Bunsen burner. Nice. I like it. So you can see I can turn the flame down by going righty tighty. And I can turn the flame up by going lefty loosey from looking from the bottom. I can also add more air by opening up the airport. And if I close the airport, I end up with a really yellow flame. We want you to make a yellow flame today and then never again for the rest of your life make a yellow flame. It's a low temperature flame that produces a lot of carbon and I think I can show you the carbon that accumulates on the striker. Uh, you guys see that? I hope you do. Make that yellow flame and then never make it again because when it's yellow, it gets sooty carbon on everything. All right, so you open up the airport to let more oxygen in so you have more complete combustion with the methane. Fantastic, look at that beautiful flame. Now, the reason that we're using the LabQuest today is so that you can find different temperatures at different locations in the flame. This is your thermocouple tip. And wherever you place the tip in the flame, you should get a pretty accurate readout on your LabQuest for the temperature of the flame. All right, so that's pretty simple. You're gonna be recording different temperatures for different locations. Whatever you do, don't ever put a real thermometer in here because you'll melt it. The thermocouple is the only temperature measuring device we can put in the Bunsen burner flame. All right, let's turn this guy off. And one last tip. This leftmost drawer at your bench is where all your hardware goes. And if you put your Bunsen burner standing up and shut the door, it's gonna crush your Bunsen burner. It's gonna bend the barrel. The barrel will get stuck when you open the drawer. So make sure you, you lay your Bunsen burner on its side when you put it back in the drawer. And then when you shut or open the drawer, it's always on its side and out of the way. All right, have fun with, uh, with, with the lab today, you guys. Get to know your Bunsen burner. Um, by the end of it all, I want you to know exactly how that thing works. You're going to use it uh, dozens of times this year. Thank you.